Ladies and gentlemen, we are still in the nightmare simulation down at Frankie's Strange Meat. You know how they always say like, oh, well, if you run a business for two, three years and you break even, you're doing good. That is a complete lie because all of these corporations, these billionaires, <laughs> they're making crazy, crazy money from day one and they just want you uh, to buy into their companies and distributors and all that type of stuff. But I'll, I'll complain about something else today, being Con Edison. Now, you know, we spoke about in the past that, you know, Con Edison obviously stands for Con Man Edison, but an another term for it is Consolidated Edison. That's what they go by officially online. And I mean, if the CEO's daughter would like to consolidate my in her mouth, perhaps it would make sense because I've paid $15,000 in extra electric charges. I mean, listen, $15,000, his daughter better be like Russian, a little taller than me, completely stunningly beautiful, and not just one time, I think like at least 15 times. I mean, all right, maybe more like 11 times. I think 1,500 a night is a pretty fair offer for a girl that beautiful. Uh, but you know what they would actually want is maybe I can take some Viagra and shove my in the CEO's mouth. So then they'll give me my money back. And I'm in a bit of a, a not so happy mood today, guys, because when I spoke to my lawyer like two weeks ago, he was like, yeah, let's do this. We're going to do kind of this and da-da-da. He must have had a little meeting at his lodge because he completely changed tunes. I was like, file the complaint. Just file the complaint. It doesn't matter. And when I mean by file a complaint, that means, you know, start the lawsuit against Con Edison. And he was like, no, I don't want to do that. This is a waste of my time. So, <laughs> and he actually said to me, Frank, not everything's a conspiracy. You can go online and find an independent. No, I called up every electrician in my area of New York City and not one of them wanted to take a look at it. Con Edison did their own independent investigation and found everything to be fine. Every single person is in on it. The lawyers, the electricians, no one wants to stand up against Con Edison. And uh, I don't know what to do, so hopefully they don't turn the power off anytime soon. Uh, but, but that's uh, the latest news with Con Edison. Uh, maybe after my lawyer watches this video, he'll realize that uh, I think they're all a bunch of cooks and maybe he'll help me. Or I'll just have to file the complaint myself, which, you know, yeah, you guys, when you have to figure everything out, you know, I mean, filing a complaint and doing that stuff, the court paperwork, you know, these lawyers go to school for years and years and years and they know how to do it. So for me to figure it out, it's a pain in the ass. But um, what's going on with Frankie's Range Me today? So it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day and UPS is actually open. So thankfully we can ship today. Uh, we have a lot of post office orders here, uh, quite a bit actually. You guys have uh, been supporting Frankie's Range Foods a lot as well as Oregon Supplements, all the businesses. So we're shipping everything out today. My guys already did two pallets of meat orders. They're about halfway done. They're uh, about to go on lunch now. Some more UPS orders over here. No new products this week, but if you guys missed last week's vlog, we have the flavor jerky, we have the collagen broth, which we're actually kind of sold out of now. Hopefully uh, we have the collagen broth back in two or three days. And I was also thinking of doing roast beef, but I, I really am not so sure I have room for the ovens here. I might just do like a test run of roast beef, at a commercial kitchen, see how you guys like it because I went to Whole Foods like two weeks ago and I bought the organic roast beef they had available. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten in my life. So it's nice to have, you know, jerky as a snack. We have Best Bars, pemmican, the raw snacks, but you know, something more traditional that you can have on like a deli sandwich and some bread. Roast beef would be nice because right now I basically just sear steaks and put it on bread if I want a sandwich. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I didn't have much to talk about besides talking shit about Con Edison. So let's, let's go in the freezer. I think we do have one or two more products. So we have a few things back in stock, I think, but we're running out of a lot of stuff too. You know, I'm asking my distributors for things like lamb fat or, or different stuff here and there, organs, and they just don't have it. I can't get it. And then sometimes they'll lie to me. They'll send me like a product that isn't good or up to standard and I lose money on it because I can't sell it. So. You know, not getting that slaughterhouse between this nightmare of a warehouse, everything breaking, not having the meat quality I like, it's just... More reason to uh, retire to Russia, Moscow, with Con Edison CEO's daughter. I think I showed you guys last week, we got the eight ounce tenderloin steaks back in stock, very nicely portioned. Also, we have the one pound chuck steaks back in stock. These are the most affordable steak on the website. You guys like these a lot. Chicken feet are back. I didn't realize my guys cut every single nail off of the, because you know, chicken feet, they have talons. So my guys literally cut every single nail off every single one of these feet. So I'm charging you guys a little extra for that because otherwise you got to do it yourself. 
what we haven't had in a while is lamb breast. AKA, I mean, lamb rib, lamb breast, same, same thing, interchangeable. It's just a nice fatty cut of lamb that's very affordable as well. Uh, did I show you guys this last week? Uh, we have the lamb Denver ribs as well. Uh, different flavor than the lamb breast. They're very similar in a sense that, you know, they're about the same texture, the fattiness, very, very rich, but there's a distinctly different taste between the Denver ribs and the lamb breast. Whole picanha is back in stock. We were only out for a week, so thankfully we were able to get it back in. We have, this is like a two pound slab and we have the steaks as well. You guys like these a lot too, the one pound picanha steaks. Tender meat, very nice fat cap on most of them. And I know some of you guys that like barbecue a lot and do like cookouts buy these. This is the whole beef belly. So maybe you wanna make your own bacon. And this is the whole brisket if you want to smoke it yourself. My cameraman's wearing like a tank top, wife beater, and a, a very light sweater, so he doesn't really know how to dress in the winter. Trying to keep everything in stock for you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like me to get anything, how you've liked the products, and as always, if you guys ever have a problem with any order, please email me. Very generous with the refunds. Guys, I'm going broke and I still live with my fucking parents. I have no problem hemorrhaging money giving it back to you guys every week, so. So I'm not gonna show you guys the back today because uh, the building manager is doing some sort of fire sealant spray on the wall. I don't really uh, know why that matters. This building's about to fall apart anyway, and I'm sure they would love to burn it down. Uh, but I, maybe for insurance purposes, when they do decide to burn it down, they need that uh, half pound of fire sealant on the wall. Who knows? Let me show you guys how generous I am. Someone sent me back this bed canopy. Like, I don't know how they got it this color. It's like they went to some brothel and all the prostitutes had like self tan on them and they just rolled around in the canopy all night. I don't know what, I don't know how this, I don't know. Completely ridiculous. That's on wifishielding.com. We have very clean and reliable bed canopies that I will unfortunately refund your money for despite the condition of them you're returning them in. But I may look awfully youthful like a frat boy, you know, 17 year old fresh out of high school with my hat on today. This is actually lined with silver fabric. So although, you know, you should be wearing it like this to kind of protect your noggin, then you can get a mask. You know, we do have a lot of unique products on wifishielding.com that will not make you look like a lunatic. Maybe before all of this, you know, what nonsense a couple years ago, you couldn't wear a mask or a headnet on your face, but now you kind of fit in with the losers. Speaking of which, uh, the winter clothing should be available soon. We do have the headsets and adapters back in stock. So we have black and white headsets and we have iPhone as well as Android Ethernet adapters. And this time uh, I got them with a power plug as well so you can charge the phone while having the Ethernet connection. And this is so you can put your phone on airplane mode while you're using it. Some things still don't work, usually like iMessage and sometimes the texting doesn't work, but usually all of the other apps, Instagram, TikTok, email, mo most things work when you use an Ethernet adapter and put your phone on airplane mode so you're not getting exposed to radiation while you're using the phone. Or you could just, you know, leave the phone on and put a headnet on your head, but depends on how crazy you want to get. Frankie's Nationals, for the most part, everything is in stock. Organ supplements, nothing new this week. I will probably try to make the magnesium oil without the MSM in it, as a couple of you guys requested that, and I have a different bottle, and I was planning on doing it anyway. But thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining me, guys. As I said, check out frankdeshifah.com to check out all my businesses, and I will see you guys for tomorrow.